the audacity to do the impossible. There are some moments and some men in the history of our country who have accomplished feats so extraordinary, the mere mention of their names instantly reminds us of the uniquely American spirit. July 16, 1969. As millions watch on television around the world, three American astronauts aboard a small craft atop a Saturn V rocket blast off from Kennedy Space Center in Florida in an attempt to accomplish the impossible to set foot on the moon. The audacious mission, known as Apollo 11, would have been unthinkable prior to a speech delivered to Congress by President Kennedy eight years earlier. In that speech, he envisioned land a man on the moon and returning him safely before the end of the decade. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Tapped to lead this impossible mission were astronauts Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins, and Buzz Aldrin. Clear of Earth's atmosphere, the men of Apollo 11 headed toward orbit of the moon. On July 20th, with Aldrin and Armstrong aboard the lunar module nicknamed the Eagle, separated from the command module and began its descent toward the lunar surface. Absolute precision in every step of the landing was imperative. A single mistake could doom the mission and potentially leave the men stranded. At 4.17 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, and with only 25 seconds of fuel remaining, the lunar module touched down on the Sea of Tranquility on the surface of the moon. Armstrong radioing home. Aldrin capturing the solemnity of the moment, radioed home. I'd like to take this opportunity to ask every person listening in, whoever, wherever they may be, to pause for a moment and contemplate the events of the past few hours and to give thanks in his or her own way. As millions watched, Armstrong emerged from the lunar module in one of history's legendary moments. Shortly thereafter, Aldrin joined Armstrong on the surface of the moon, awed by its beauty and describing it as magnificent desolation. The three men who had made President Kennedy's vision a reality, an impossible mission, made possible through the ingenuity, determination, and audacity of the same spirit that had been ingrained in Americans from generation to generation. And though that same spirit has been displayed countless times by countless Americans, it has never been so evident as on that day in July 1969, when a group of now legendary Americans took to the skies and conquered the unknown.